while you probably shouldn't, while you probably shouldn't look up health symptoms online. The first thing that most of us do when we have a mysterious ache, pain, or other medical concern is we go and we consult Dr. Google, Dr. Bing, or Dr. Yahoo. This could be a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake, not just for your privacy, but for your financial future as well. Motherboard outlined the risk of Googling symptoms and reading up on them as a, at sites like WebMD or Mayo Clinic. Essentially, the old practice of everyone is tracking us on the web, but in this case, they are tracking your particular, uh, tra this tracking is particularly really, really, really harmful. The problem is that even the trusted sites like WebMD send health search data to data brokers like Experion, so have you and so have you, which in turn package all the other data in its collection on you, including your credit history, and sells them to other companies. Now here's what one of the experts says. Experion is a data broker, well known for selling credit scores, which includes information on bankruptcy, this, that, and the third. But to go even further, I have found Experion tracking users on thousands of health-related web pages. It is entirely possible that companies not only known which individuals went bankrupt for medical reasons, but when they first went online to learn about their illness as well. In essence, Experion and other data brokers can follow an individual from its first sneeze to his final unpaid hospital bill. That's really creepy shit, America. That the, the credit companies can literally follow you. Now this is from an expert. This is from the University of Philadelphia researcher, excuse me, the University of Pennsylvania researcher, Tom Lambert. Um, and you know, there's also, this is, so this is some really, really, really real crazy stuff beyond the fact that going on WebMD could also creep you out. Cause you know, you could say you have a cough and they could tell you that you have walking meningitis, but beyond that point, you know, Experion and Equifax is tracking this information. So, you know, you're looking to buy a home and you know, you have MS or you have ALS, like great example. Empire. Anybody watch the show Empire? I do. It's a great show. You should watch it. But in the show, the main character has ALS and he's trying to hide ALS from, you know, the public because he's trying to get it. He's start, trying to start his initial IPO and the ALS will scare him from investing in the company. Same thing here. If he Googled at WebMD the symptoms of ALS, he would have found America the world would have known. Equifax would have known and the invest would have known and the show would probably end. Not quite, but you get where I'm going with this. So just be very careful. I.e. harkens back to what I said earlier in the show and I will say it again. Nothing beats, nothing is better for your health than having a trusted primary care physician that you can have real conversations with. Now we have to wait eight months to get an appointment, but one, you can go in and see right away and see today and have a trusted conversation and not Google your healthcare symptoms.